I've been getting a ton of questions about this Ultimate AMS Lite enclosure, and I'm gonna answer all those for you today. Now, if you haven't seen the first video where I assembled this entire enclosure, go check it out up in that corner first and then come back here. You're definitely gonna to wanna to see that one first. Now, before we start this video, I did not create this enclosure. I am not smart enough to come up with something like that. However, I am so thankful that there are people that are smart enough to do this. Obviously, all this information is gonna be in the description down below if you wanna print this for yourself. I was actually looking at the profile today and I noticed that my name was in the description. How crazy is that? Anyways, let's go give this guy or girl some love on their Maker World profile. Just go give it a like, go print it out, let them know what you think. Now I printed out almost everything for this enclosure on my P1S right here. However, if you do not have a printer that is large enough, there is an A1 mini print profile so you can still print this. You're just gonna have to glue it together, which I know it's a little bit tedious, so if you want to avoid using glue, you can go check out today's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is not only known for creating their custom PCBs, they are also very well known for their CNC and 3D printing services. If you have a 3D printer that either cannot print certain materials or doesn't have a large enough build volume, you can head over to PCBWay, upload your file, and you can pick from all sorts of different materials such as resin, nylon, PLA, ABS, pick your quantity, the size of your STL, you can see your subtotal here as well as how long it will take to get your item. You can submit your request. I just think this is an amazing service and I'm very honored to be sponsored by PCBWay in today's video. To start us off, by far the most common question I've been getting, how much longer does it take to change your spools with the enclosure? Now obviously, being that it is fully enclosed, it's gonna take some more time than just out in the open like it used to be. Now, I think the most scientific way to test this out, change one spool with the enclosure, change one spool without the enclosure, put them side by side, and we'll see how much longer it really takes to see if it's worth it for you. Next, you may notice that I have installed some Bowden tubes on my enclosure. Now that's because originally I had some issues with binding on the enclosure itself. These Bowden tubes fix everything, all right? I actually saw in one of my comments to put a Bowden tube in there and it worked perfectly. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All you gotta do is take again about 20 millimeters of a Bowden tube and slide it so the majority of it is on the inside of the enclosure and I have only about a couple millimeters outside of the top here and I did the same thing on every single slot and I've had zero issues with binding and it actually makes it about 10 times easier to load the filament. Just take your filament, just slide it up there and it lines it up almost perfectly. You just gotta press down on the yellow, instantly feeds it. This Bowden tube right here is honestly a must print if you're gonna print this enclosure. It has eliminated every single one of my issues. Ever since I installed those Bowden tubes, I haven't had one issue with this enclosure. Another comment I've been getting a lot does the RFID still work with the enclosure? Now, I don't really print with bamboo filament too much. However, I was able to find a little bit left over. Let's find out. Spooling it in right now. The third question we're gonna to answer today, can you use the enclosure with the A1 top mount? And the answer to that is yes, with modification. Now, I don't have the A1, I only have the A1 mini, so I could not print out an actual top mount to test this out for you. However, after skimming through the comments, it seems like all you need to do is print a shorter knob, which I have that print profile for you in that description down below if you want to print this out. You can use it with your top mount, thanks to these guys who left these comments. Never would have been able to find this out without you. Next, some people are asking what type of desiccant that I like to use. This is an easy one, here's the answer. I have since moved to this orange indicating silica gel. It's awesome because it's rechargeable. You know when it's saturated fully, it's gonna turn dark green when it's all done, all used up. All you gotta do is pop it in the microwave for 10 minutes on defrost. It's gonna be back to this awesome orange color and it's gonna keep sucking up all of that liquid that we hate in our filament. And finally, I had somebody ask, what is the widest spool that you can use with the enclosure? Now, obviously, being that it encloses everything, there's gonna be some limitations to what spools you can use. However, I don't think you're gonna run into an issue. 
We're gonna take our handy dandy caliber here and find out. 68.2. 68.2 is gonna be the widest roll that you're gonna to wanna to use in here. Now Elgu is cutting it pretty close and that's all I've been using and I've had absolutely zero problems. Now of course, you can probably push it a little bit if you want to. This lid is not completely flat. I'm sure you could push it to 70, maybe even 75 millimeters, but for a tight, accurate, correct fit, 68.2 millimeters is gonna be your max width on these spools. I hope this video answered a lot of your questions. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments down below and I will try my best to answer them or try to find out the answer for you. Again, I am not the original creator of this. Now, if the original designer of this creation is watching this video, please feel free to correct me in the comments down below. So go give the original creator a bunch of love over in their Maker World profile. Thank you guys for checking this video out. Again, any questions, leave them down below. Give this video a like and a subscribe if you did like it and you wanna see more content. And thanks for watching. Go check out some of my other videos now. All right, see ya.